The two weapons clashed with a loud clunk, and Atsuko stepped back, forced to cede ground. She had anticipated the move and pivoted on her right leg to return with Atsuki, a low and long blow that should have hit her brother in the throat, but slipped past him despite his defensive stance. This time, I'll, she started. She had no time to finish before he struck her sword faster than she had anticipated, and she had to jump backwards to avoid being hit. She dove to the side, rolled over, and adopted a defensive position, just in time to avoid being spiked in her side by the boken. As soon as her shoulders hit the walls of the dojo, she knew he had manipulated her. The weapon came towards her skull. She closed her eyes and felt a gentle tap on her forehead. You talk too much, said Ibuka, dropping his guard. Atsuko pushed aside the strand of hair that had fallen out of her bun and into her eyes and stuck out her tongue. I hate you. Of course you don't. You love me. One doesn't prevent the other. I'll never beat you or even hit you. I'm no good. The young girl slid to the floor in a sulk. After a moment's hesitation, her brother followed suit. His mischievous grin disappeared, replaced with a seriousness that seemed out of place for his age of 17. Don't say that. You're the most skilled girl I know. Yeah, the most skilled girl, she pouted. Okay, okay. You're the most skilled person of 16 I know. Hmm, or maybe the second. Hoshi is doing really well. But that's not enough to beat you. Ibuka leaned against the wall, his hands behind his head, with an indolent expression like a Cheshire cat. Because I'm a genius, little sister. <laughs>